Hello there, it's Peter Beckenham, also known as the Village Marketer, and welcome to this training session on the Simple Secret Success Formula. I am delighted to be able to provide this training to you, and at the end of today's training, if you still have any questions at all, then please contact me. I'll be there to help you out, okay? So, let's get started. So, what is the Simple Success Formula? Traffic plus conversions equals sales revenue. Doesn't sound that difficult, does it? Traffic plus conversion equals sales revenue. Let's break it down a little bit more. The simple secret success formula requires you to get targeted traffic, send it to a valuable targeted offer that is optimized to convert and make sales and creates profits for you. This is the formula that allows you to make money on the internet. It sounds very simple, doesn't it? Actually, this simple secret success formula controls everything. Traffic plus conversions. If you get traffic but no conversions, then you don't get any sales, right? And if you have lots of conversions but no traffic, you still don't get any sales. And no sales means no money. So you need both parts to be working to have a successful online business. Traffic and conversions. If you cannot create any customers, then think about it. You don't have a business, do you? So let's look at the conversion side of things. And let's, it's really how an online sales funnel works. You've got to think of it like a road trip or a journey from point A to point B. Point A is your starting point, like where you are right now in your business. And point B is your desired destination, your desired business potential in the future. Just imagine you're going on a road trip and along the way, you'll be making a few stops, right? Your online sales funnel should be designed to take as many people as possible from point A to point B. And there'll be a few stops along the way. And at each one of those stops, you make an offer, okay? An um, offer as they're taking their journey with you. You need to try and convert at each stage that the customer's at in your sales funnel. So how does an online sales funnel work? I mean, basically, the more that reach their final destination in your sales funnel, the more value they would have required from you and the more money you would make. That sounds pretty right, okay? But somewhere on the journey, expect people to stop, to drop off, lose interest, lose their way, whatever. Only the very interested people will continue. And these are like gold for you. So look after them. They're the ones that will make you most of your money. Let's look at the role of a sales funnel. And basically is to attract targeted visitors, right? People who are interested in what you have to offer. The top of your sales funnel is like a squeeze page where you collect email leads and in return give them something of a valuable offer. And this is a way of building up your email list so you can follow up with people later on. Another role of the sales funnel is to convert leads to paying customers and try to convert as many as possible. Convert customers into repeat customers is another part of your sales funnel. I mean, you can have people purchase multiple products and services from you. And that is really good for business. And finally, to convert customers into high ticket or back end services. That's where the really big money is. And if you can get people to continue their journey with you through your sales funnel to that point, then you certainly do have it made. So that's the role of your sales funnel. But now let's look at the key steps of your sales funnel. And the first one is your free offer, your freebie, okay? Now, this is very high value and must be relevant to your front end offer. Just because it's free doesn't mean it's a rubbish offer. That's definitely not what you should have. This is your squeeze page step in your sales funnel. And the idea is to encourage as many people as possible to leave their contact details. Now, for example, my free offer to you was my four-part free video training series. And from the reaction I got from quite a few of you, you really appreciated the quality of that video training. So thank you for that. But remember, at this point in time, when people first join you, it's really, they're cold, okay? They're cold traffic. There's no trust or relationship yet. Um, you need to be able to build that, okay? So don't expect any sales at this early point of people joining your sales funnel. 
what you need to do is follow up with these new subscribers. Get them to know you, maybe like you, hopefully trust you, and then perhaps in some time in the future, purchase things from you. You must always be adding value, just like I'm trying to do here with you right now by creating this training program. I mean, I created this and other videos on my blog to help you understand what is required to start a successful online business. I mean, that's the reason I've done it. Hopefully by doing these things, you'll get to know, like, and trust me enough to take action on what I recommend for you. I'm being completely open and honest with you here. That's the reason why I'm creating these videos. So I hope it helps you, and I hope you learn to trust me. And at some time in your online journey, I hope you'll accept my guidance and purchase the specific offers that I recommend for you. I mean, this is a win-win. You win because you get quality, quality products and recommendations, and I win because I make money for giving you those recommendations and earning your trust. And as you move through the sales funnel, you continue to get more and more valuable products and services that will take you closer to your final desired location, your position B, right, in your online business journey. And I'll make money as well by having the pleasure of watching you grow your business. That is as simple and as honest as it is. The next key step in your sales funnel is your front end offer. The next key step of your sales funnel is your front end offer. It's got to be irresistible, low priced, with a very high perceived value. And it needs to solve a specific problem or a pain that people in your niche market have. With your relatively inexpensive but highly valuable front end offer, you've got to make the buying decision easy. This is the offer that hopefully converts your leads into paying customers. And that's what I'm planning for you as well, to help you get started on your journey with a low price but extremely valuable product. Only people who are really interested in creating an online biz will take up my front end offer, even though it's not very expensive at all. I mean, there's a lot of freebie seekers out there who only want free stuff and they're not prepared to invest even one cent into their online future. Now, I know that's not you. And I know I'll give you my best and hopefully you will see real value in what I offer. I'll be looking for customers who are really serious about the internet marketing business and will be willing to show that they are by purchasing appropriate products and services. That's how my business actually succeeds because I help people to achieve where they want to get to and in so doing they pay me appropriately. And that's what your future can be as well. Now the next key step of your sales funnel are the upsells. These are simply special offers of even greater value for money that will take them to the very next stage in their online journey. They should be made immediately to the customer as they're going through your funnel, and they can incur, include all sorts of things, including recurring billing offers. The most important thing is that your upsells complement the actual front-end offer that you provided to your customer, and hopefully helps them do an even better job of building their business. The last part which is the key step of your sales funnel, is the back end. This is your high ticket offer. This is the most valuable and the most profitable stop in the journey. But remember, only a very few of your original leads will make it to this point in their journey. In fact, only a small percentage will even purchase your low priced front end offer, despite how valuable it may be. So even though your back end offers may be hundreds or even thousands of dollars in price, and of course in value, please keep your expectations in place. Very few will get to that point in your funnel, okay? It's an ongoing process of you driving targeted traffic to your squeeze page for your offer and then having your sales funnel convert as many as possible. I mean, this is the real world of internet marketing, okay? So just recapping quickly again, the key steps of your sales funnel, have a free offer, have a front end offer, provide upsells immediately, people purchase your front end offer, and finally, back end offer. I mean, these funnels are quite simple in the design, but they're extremely challenging to make them effective. It requires constant monitoring and tweaking of everything, from the fonts that you use, to the images you may have, to the offers you've got, to the price points that you're using, as well as having some email marketing expertise. Finally, let's look at what factors influence the conversion rate that you may achieve. One, the quality of the traffic. If it's poor quality traffic, then you're certainly not going to get any conversions. I mean, just recently I purchased some traffic via a solo ad. 
I had lots and lots of opt-ins, but very few even bothered to open their emails. So that quality traffic wasn't so good. Now, I'm not saying solo ads are not good. It's just simply saying one particular experience I had showed me that. So quality of traffic is important to conversion. Secondly, the perceived value of your free offer. The higher the perceived value, the more the conversions will be taking them up and joining your list in the first place. And of course, your follow-up emails. Make sure you always focus on giving value. Finally, relationships. The more value you give, the more people will get to know, like, and trust you. And if they do that, then your recommendations to your list will be certainly looked at more seriously. Some more conversion rate factors. Firstly, very few become customers of yours, even for your front-end offer. I mean, there are many freebie seekers out there, and well, good luck to them. That's what they do. But if you're running a your business, you can't just rely on freebies, can you? Next, the quality and the relevance of your front-end offer. You've got to make sure that the product you're offering in the front-end is not just high quality, but also is relevant to your niche market, that it is addressing the pain or a problem that your niche market has. Because if it's not relevant, they won't buy it, right? Next, the perceptions of your upsell. People will be thinking, okay, is it really good value for money? I'm paying more for this, but can it help me with my business? And they'll be asking themselves, do I really need this? This is important. These perceptions of your upsell significantly impact on your conversion capacity. So make sure you address those as you go through the offer of your upsell product. And finally, the quality and the price points of your back-end offers. This is where your high-priced ticket offers are, and you've got to make sure that it's of the highest possible quality there. And of course, the price points should be ones that are not beyond people's capacity, right? Don't be ridiculous, but make it value for money once again. So that's it, the simple secret success formula. And this formula drives every dollar that you will ever learn online. Traffic plus conversions equals your potential sales revenue. Okay? Simple to understand, yes, but not that easy to implement. So if you still need help, let me know, connect with me, because I might just have a very easy solution for you. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this training and got some real value for it. All the very best till next time. Okay, bye for now.